Hello everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I got the box, the box that all Canadians wait with anticipation for every month. Top Box. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Top Box is a Canadian subscription. You can only get it in Canada. It's $15 plus your tax in your province. Used to be $12. When it was $12, it was good. I mean, not every box was good. I can get a great box and Judy down the street can get a crappy box or vice versa. They're never the same. There's different variations. The value is never the same in my box compared to your box, which kind of sucks because sometimes I can get Huda and you can get the Ritzy or you can get Drunk Elephant and I can get Deuce. You know, it's never the same. It's never equal. We don't know what's coming in this box. Completely random. There's no spoilers. You're taking a gamble on your money. Always. And I get this box so I can be the guinea pig to let you know what you might, maybe, most likely, might not be missing. So, you know, you don't have to spend your hard-earned dollars. Right? If this box gets better, we'll watch it get better. And if it gets better, a lot of people will come back. But right now... There's a lot of people who have unsubscribed because last year was really good. This year, not so much. And they're not a company like Ipsy where you do reviews and they try to put what you like in your bags. It ain't like that. It's like, they're like, listen, this is what it's in your box. It is what it is. Take it or don't pay for it. Pretty much. That's the company. And it don't make sense why, you know, one day I can have a good box and Judy don't. It should all be the same, right? But it's not, which is kind of, you know... I don't like that part. Make it the same, equal value. Anyway, this month there was a beauty surprise. If you're new to Top Box and you want to know about the beauty surprise and how does that happen, usually between the 24th and the 28th, I'm going to say I'm going to give that span of the month. Top Box sends out an email. It's called the Top Box Wish List. Inside that could be one to ten different variations of items that you could wish for. Um, I don't remember. I think there was maybe sunscreen last month, maybe like five of those mini Smashbox primers, maybe three or four face masks. Um, and lately, those haven't been great either. You're not guaranteed. Remember, you are not guaranteed to get that wish list if you say you want that and instead of the regular box, which is what I have. You're not guaranteed to get that wish list. Um, and I mean, they had some really, really good stuff on that Pretty Bay box last year. Good stuff. Anyways, this year has been kind of, you know, bummer. I know a lot of you had canceled. This is why I'm reviewing the box. So you can see what it is you're missing. Maybe not, not missing. Okay? Anyways, this is the box. This month they did have a beauty surprise. And the beauty surprises have been good um, this year. I'm going to say good. Um, except for the Lux box that we got last week. I mean, well, it probably is. I haven't tried it yet, the eyeshadow palette. So we'll see. But... Anyways, but the beauty surprises usually are pretty good. And most people usually stay with the company because they're hoping for a beauty surprise. So in the end, the box cost me 17 And then, why can I not do the math in my head? Box cost me about $30 total this month because this was 17 and the beauty surprise is 18 So anyway, do the math. We got 18 Beauty surprise was about 11 and change. Do the math. I can't. I'm just tired. Okay, tired. Anyways, I got box number six. No, you're wrong. I got box number five. I'm always asked, how do you find the box number? It's down here and it's going to say TBO and mine says T. Right. Mine says TBO5 right there. I was looking for my address, but where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Anyways, we're going in. We going in. Do you see the sun? Uh, if my makeup is a mess, if the sun was just blaring in my eyes, usually in the summertime, I change around my desk area, I move it down there, um, away from the window, and I just haven't had time yet. And again, I went to bed last night about 1.30, 2 o'clock, got up at 7, and you know what, I have my alarm set for 8.30, and I woke up, and you ever wake up sometimes, and it feels like something stuck in your throat? Like, I'm like, did I breathe in a cat hair? Anyway, I woke up choking, and then I had to get up and get a tea and wait for that to subside, so then I was up for the rest of the day. 
Interesting. <laughs> right. So, my beauty surprise is the Ole Hendrickson Cold Plunge Pore Mask. Now, I did get this before as a beauty surprise from Top Box. Um, I'm going to say a couple of years ago, not last year, but the year before. And I like this mask, actually. And you know what the funny thing is, is that mine is almost gone. There's usually a sticker that says beauty surprise. And I swear to God, I haven't kept a beauty surprise for myself in a long time. Because um, they've been sending out Drunk Elephant, which, you know, I can't use. And other things I haven't kept, like, I can't remember. But there's a lot of beauty surprises that I haven't kept, like perfume and stuff like that. They've been sending out some really good expensive perfume. Um, the Lux box, we're still kind of on the fence about the beauty surprise from that one. But this is the Olay Hendrickson Cold Plunge Pore, Pure, uh, Pore Mask. I don't have big pores, but I like the way it feels on my face. Nice and um, cool, soothing and refreshing. And I, yeah, this is the one that we got, right? It's green. There's a safety seal on it. So I'm happy to get this because mine is almost gone. I mean, like I said, I've had it for almost two years. Mine's almost gone. My daughter really likes this mask, so I'm happy to get that. And I've seen different beauty surprises. I know I've seen somebody get a Caudalie Mist. Um, God, I can't remember some of the other. Uh, Huda Beauty freaking, oh my God, setting powder. And it seems like everybody who got the Huda Beauty got the shade Cinnamon, which, you know, there is a part on Top Box that tells you if you got dry skin or, I, I don't know. Anyways, Top Box does it again. Okay, so this is what is in my actual box that I paid $17 for. <sighs> Say a prayer. Everybody, say a prayer. Just say a prayer. They have skits, skits of this company. I think they own this company. Like, they gotta own this company. Didn't we just get this? It's Loritzi! Yay, everybody! We got some Loritzi in our box. Aren't you excited? To see Loritzi again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Oh my god, Loritzi. Alright, so we got an eyeliner, which I don't use. But I did say when I got this eyeliner last week in my Lux box, which is a sister company of Top Box. They say they're different companies, but you know what, girl? It comes from the same flipping Warehouse, I can email Top Box about Lux Box, and I can email Lux Box about Top Box. So I don't care if they say they're sister companies. It's the same bloody company, in my opinion. Anyway, um, Loritzi. Eyeliner. I just got this. And you know what? I don't know. Might be a good one. I don't wear eyeliner. You know, it might be a good one. So, I wouldn't be able to compare it with anything else because I don't use eyeliner. So, if you do use black eyeliner and you get it, I say give it a shot. I'm going to try their mascara that I got in my Luxe box. And didn't I literally just get one of these? Did I get this last month? I'm going to have to look and see, but I swear I literally just got an eyeliner. And you're not, they say you're not supposed to get repeats, although, like they say, Lux Box and Top Box are sister companies. So if you get something in Top Box and get it in Lux Box, well, we're sister companies. Too bad. Same freaking warehouse, everybody. Same warehouse. I swear they have a bunch of workers and they have boxes on a skid and they say, grab a box, throw some items in a box. And some people go that way, and some people go that way, and there's no rhyme or reason to it. I mean, you know, somebody could have gotten something fabulous in their top box. Do you know what I'm saying? It's The way they put this box together is messed up. All right. Well, we have a Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer, which I have dry 
skin. We did fill out something, didn't we, about dry skin, oily skin? I'm sending them an email going, I don't have I don't have oily skin. Why are you sending me stuff for oily skin? There is a profile there on that page, I'm sure, about dry or oily or combination skin. The whole thing is for oily skin. Then we have this Bioderma, which is a great brand. I remember I got a moisturizer from this company from Topbox. I loved it. This is the Corrective Care for Enlarged Pores Combination Oily Skin. We have Esther Lade Advanced Night Repair. That didn't we just get that in Luxbox? I mean, this is really good, expensive stuff, but I mean, um, how many bottles of this have we gotten already? Why are you sending me oily skin? I have dry skin. Right, we have a Manicadar lipstick. Is this a bullet? Because I really do, Is no, not Manicadar. I like the Bella Pierre bullets. And I know Bella Pierre is another company that, you know, I think they just put them so much in subscription boxes that we kind of got sick of the company. And it's not like an over-the-top company, you know, um, some of their stuff is kind of crappy, but I do like their lipsticks. Manicadar, we see this all the time in subscription boxes. I swear to God, this is just another Alibaba company. I think Laritzi is another Alibaba company, even though it's supposed to be made in Canada. A Canadian company it just says distributed in Montreal made in China I'm telling you this is Ali freaking Baba just like this is Ali Baba I'm telling you right now made in China right Manicadar lipstick in the shade aura it's a very pretty pink I'm not gonna knock the color I love bullets. Um, it's probably very nice. Do I not have a Manicadar lipstick? It looks awfully familiar. Like I should have one of these lipsticks. What is this? No, that's Hollywood Vine. Sure, I had one of these lipsticks before. Oh, I just dropped the lipstick on the floor. Just dropped it on the floor. But um, give it. I'm. Um, is it my color? It's kind of, but I don't know. I might keep it, actually. Mm, I got lipstick on today. I think I might keep it, because every now and then I'm looking for a color that's not quite the color that I always wear, which is this one. So I'm going to keep this, I think, and give it a shot. Maybe I'll try it in my next upcoming video. But I love a bullet lipstick, so if it's good, if it's creamy, if it's moisturizing, I'll be happy with it. And I'm going to be honest right now, and this is the funniest that you're going to hear all day. I think this is probably the favorite item in my box today. I swear to God. I think this is probably the one item in my box that I'm going to keep and use. Swear to God. Uh, anyway, this is what we got for $17. Um, an eyeliner. Something else for oily skin from Bioderma. Esther Lottie again. God help us if we get that in our box next month. Like... Smashbox, wow, we got five items in our, usually it's four items in our box, and now they gave us five. I don't know. Is that their way of saying, hey, we know we kind of suck lately, so we'll give you five items? I mean, they're not going to be five, you know, fabulous, wonderful items. There's not a big bang item in here, but we'll give you five. Or are they just trying to get rid of their old stock? I don't know. Um, but anyways, five items in a box. Usually it's for it. That's interesting. And this box is for oily skin. Not for my dry as a lizard skin. Wow. Anyway, that's cool to see this. Um, I know my daughter loves this mask, so that's cool. <sighs> Top box, everybody. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. 
I wish you would put a chocolate in here. If you put a chocolate in here, maybe I'll be a little bit happy. Put a chocolate in this box, top box. You know, if you're gonna send me the Ritzy all the time. Hey, it wasn't nail polish, but it's still a Ritzy. So, you know, you're not gonna win either way. Nail polish is a Ritzy. There's really no winners. There's no winners here. There's no winners here. Right. This is the box. It's a Canadian company, and we support our Canadian companies. It was so good last year, and the beauty surprise is really good. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. It's probably the cost of the box in all of its entirety. I don't know why they send me oily skin stuff when I have dry skin, and there is something on the profile that says that, so I'm going to send them a message about that and go, I know the point of Top Box is to review the products that you get in a box because this company, it's like free advertising, and they're sending their deluxe size samples to top box so we review it we write about it right that's the whole point of it but if you're going to send me stuff that i can't use then i, I don't know i don't know i don't know what else to say i don't know what else to say anyways for those who could use the products for 17 dollars, there are some good deluxe sizes in there um yeah, let me know what do you get in your box. What was your beauty surprise? Did you get one? And are you still canceled? And I'll be back here again next month to show you what you might, but most likely might not, be missing by not getting the subscription. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.